All right, second video. So this uh, tripod that was supposed to help me uh, make these videos better and uh, hold the smartphone it's not that great. Um, it looks like the uh, legs are really short so you can't really position it the way you want and the uh, the phone can be a little heavy if you put it on an angle and it tips over so eh, not worth the uh, $40 Canadian but uh, what can you do so alright so next thing uh, this thing is a five port Linksys uh, switch this is uh, not a smart switch, um, it is uh, just a regular switch, not a hub, a switch. Um, there's no UI interface that you could uh, configure this. But, you know, uh, these things are, you know, for the price, you know, they're uh, pretty solid. Uh, so this, this goes back uh, many years, uh, just uh, after Cisco had acquired Linksys. So you can see they, they've added the little... Cisco logo there and the uh, sticker here to you know basically uh, move up to the Cisco line of products even though I don't think there was a, a similar item offered by Cisco in this case you probably have to go to a, more ports to get something uh, and probably more expensive anyway these things were actually pretty good um, I don't recommend uh, using little hubs like this but uh, you get into situations where you have to use them, you know, uh, you can't get a cabling guy there, just, you know, put another drop and it's too much of a hassle to do it yourself. So these things are, you know, for a short period, uh, a good solution to get out of trouble. Um, so, but uh, they're not meant to keep around, but uh, once they get installed, uh, you kind of forget about them. So this is what happened with this. It's, uh, it got installed uh, several months ago, even though this is old, it was, uh, something I was carrying with me and uh, I needed to install it at a clinic and uh, it just went under somebody's desk and uh, initially there was only supposed to be a computer there and then there was a VoIP phone and then there was uh, a payment uh, system and and then there was another wireless phone so all those got plugged into this so not a good solution for that you really need dedicated cabling for uh, you know uh, a bunch of devices especially for VoIP phones uh, I don't like the idea of plugging VoIP phones into a little switch like this, which is splitting the main connection. But uh, this failed, so uh, and uh, you know normally the uh, whatever fails on these things is usually just the AC adapters. Uh, but in this case, it's not the AC adapter, so I want to pop it open just to see if there's anything visually. I've kind of pried it open a little before. As you can see, I removed the uh, sticker a bit. So I could pry this open a bit. So let's see. Uh, this will pop out easy again. There we go. All right. Let's pause this because somebody's at the door. All right. Let's hope there's no more interruptions. Uh, so once you uh, remove the. Uh, front here you can easily see that it's uh, just a single board here and let's uh, try propping it up there we go it just slides out and nothing really complicated uh, main chip here heat sink I'm looking for if there's any uh, blown or bulging capacitors here because that's usually what happens when a lot of these things start uh, failing intermittently um, but I don't see anything. It uh, looks all flat. Yeah, everything's all flat. Uh, so it could be something else. So there's still a lot of little capacitors, you know, on on the board. They're too small to see if there's any problems, and uh, well, I'm just not smart enough to diagnose those. So only visually what I can see. So. It looks fine, but it's obviously failed, so uh, not much I can do with this. Not worth the effort of trying to repair it. Uh, but just wanted to see what was, uh, you know, if there's something visibly wrong with it that you can see. And so far, it looks uh, it looks okay. It looks normal. Uh, what I'm going to do in the future is just uh, open up um, a new version of this that Cisco puts out, just to see if if there's really a difference, if they really change the design or anything. So you know, it looks like this. So we'll we'll pop open, you know, 
a brand new one, a five port uh, switch and uh, see how that looks. So that's it for this one. <coughs>